this is another game in our destroyer tactics it's very similar in some respects to another game fought with you yang from the south side of the map on the same day and in both cases the uh, destroyer had a very significant role in the game actually coming out first in the uh, team score we have uh, three radar boats on the other side that we have to contend with actually before I take that back we have uh, two Des Moines and a Missouri and a Seattle so we have four radar boats on the other side and um, I'm letting the team know that I'm skating, uh, scouting BC, which is exactly what I did from the other side of the map with you. Yang, you will probably find that video interesting, too, if you like this one. Um, I contended with different issues in each case. And also, the Gearing has deep water torps, so it can interdict against other destroyers, which the Yu Yang can't. They have similar guns. Um, and I've got... Uh, RDF, radio direction finder, you can see my arc um, indicating somebody's coming up towards uh, B and somebody on the other side has uh, me detected with, uh, with their RDF as you can see by the located symbol. So I'm being cautious. I don't want to rush in and one of the tricks here is to always use your minimap. We, uh, we don't know where any of the enemy forces are You'll notice that uh, my gunnery range is like 11 clicks. Uh, if we had uh, Russian uh, radar boat, that would be too close. They can do 11-7. Um, coming in a bit from that, maybe where the Hindenburg shows on the circle. Um, Enemy force so about detected. 10 clicks is safe with uh, American boats because they've got just under 10. We have an Alsace coming in. I don't believe he's the closest boat. So I'm assuming that there's either a uh, destroyer or destroyer cruiser kind of pair at least uh, getting close. You can see where my circle is showing or part of a circle. Yep, there we go. And there is a Des Moines and he's very close to being in radar range and we have smoke. I have fish so I'm going to lay some fish in. Um, you'll notice I cross cut those. I want to saturate that smoke. If I'm real lucky, I'll take out their destroyer, but it looks like he's moving across the cap. So I'm not going to try to slow that cap down right now. They've got too many forces. If you look, the mini map is showing us that they are rushing uh, hard on B and forcefully on C. So. I'm going to have a real hard time, even though we're already taking um, B. We're not probably going to carry it immediately. Um, waiting to see if I get any bites on this. I might get one right there on the Des Moines. I always like taking out radar ships when I'm not one of them. Actually, I don't mind taking out radar ships when they're reds. Um, even if I'm in a radar ship. Um, and if you're playing destroyers and trying to really master them, it doesn't hurt to get a couple of radar boats yourself and uh, see life from the other side. We're in the process, if, we, if it isn't already posted, of creating a video uh, that gets into some of that from a destroyer's perspective but shows you the different uh, radar cruisers. And, uh, of course, there's a battleship and a couple of destroyers now that have radar, so it's there. I'm assuming that the enemy destroyer is sitting in that smoke. And for destroyers, they have a Kabarosk, two gearings. I'm assuming it's not the Kabarosk. Uh, he's probably visible on the minimap somewhere. He looks like he was down in B. Can't quite make it out because they're stacked up a bit. But I'm going to maybe throw some more fish if uh, I'm not too worried about hitting the Richelieu. And. Um, trying to decide if it makes more sense to stay here or cut down towards B and support our team there. Um, there's a radar boat that I'm now conceivably in range of, the Seattle, but it's not by much, so I should be able to kite out, and I've got some islands to protect me. With that uh, friendly destroyer in there, I really don't want to throw a fish that way. But if you look, they're coming down that cut, so now it does make sense. And I'm going to cross-cut those. <clears throat> the 
they are making one of my favorite mistakes for the enemy team and that is to all bunch up in a narrow cut where I can saturate fish going at different angles. The odds are excellent that uh, with that layout I am going to get some hits and uh, hopefully maintain uh, going at me. Well, let's take a closer look and you can see, oh yes, there we go, all songs. He's going to eat. No, there we go. And we got one. We and. <laughs> yes, indeedy. How about two battleships and 73,000 damage? Um, all stations. And uh, the Seattle got wounded by something. I don't. Well, yeah, eight torpedo hits. Um, that's significant. <laughs> yes, indeedy. And. Uh, so I got a devastating strike, a first blood, and a double strike all out of that. Not bad, especially since I'm working on a campaign uh, getting uh, achievements with U.S. boats for the Halsey campaign. So we've still got uh, contention in B. The Seattle's going down in a likelihood the Z can tap him and kill him. Uh, yep, there he's gone. And the rune is still in there. Their Des Moines and Kavarosk, for some reason, are way down. I don't know if they got hurt Torpedoes or what. Um, and maybe they are oars to combat, but whatever. I'm glad they're not in the fight. Um, but the battle for B is not over. Um, we are winning, um, but it's still tenuous enough, and there's a lot of game left. Uh, Having two of their boats not in the fight does help. Um, but getting C would cement it a lot better, and it looks like uh, they're moving up here to support. So um, I got two radar boats coming this way, and they are getting close. Yeah, we're getting pushed on both sides. So B is going to be the real center of this battle for the foreseeable future. And uh, that Missouri now has me in radar range. So does the Des Moines. One of the things you really have to watch for is getting tag teamed. Um, if they both have the module, they could have two minutes of radar. And... Uh, that's uncomfortable at the very least. But look at that. Uh, my companion, DD, has a bunch of fish about to do some damage on the Missouri. Maybe take him out. Uh, I'm going to do some interdiction. Uh, I was paying attention to the minimap and uh, making sure that uh, I wasn't going to take the Z-52 out with my fish. Looks like the Missouri is trying to heal, um, but hopefully we'll take him out here. I might even, yep, he's gone. And closest boats to me are actually still, uh, I don't know, now they're down here. For a second I was looking like there might be somebody coming through, so there went the room. We're getting pretty solidly on the wind now. Um, and again, this comes out of the fact that look at where our boats are. Uh, we have consolidated so they can't push past. Um, now the Copperos might be coming up to try to contest A. Um, looks like their Des Moines is trying to come in, but they scattered up and go. We got some more torpedo hits. The old way of fighting before radar, of sneaking up and shooting, uh, is becoming much more difficult these days. And so now part of the trick is to anticipate what your enemy is going to do. Uh, it is actually making those who are paying attention probably better uh, at using torpedoes than in the days where you could just keep uh, tracking and, and spawning. And here comes their gearing. We've got a little bit of cover from that friendly smoke that the Z put up. So I'm going to go ahead and engage. Let's see if we can't 
take him out. The other, their Des Moines is coming back through B. I'm going to go ahead and throw some fish down there. I might just, because it looks like I didn't have a lot of time because I was trying to not miss the fight up here. So that's sort of a snapshot. But if, again, if you start practicing anticipating where somebody else will go, um, you can go ahead and uh, and uh, often get a hit. So that's sort of a one of these release and forget it kind of weapons, like some uh, aircraft missiles. Because I didn't want to miss the fight on this gearing. Because uh, he could do what I did and throw fish down there, and then we got a problem. Um, and here comes the rune. I was looking to see what those fish might be doing because they're still running hot. Um, my fish are set up to run, they're the, the 16 kilometer fish that are set to run hot for 13.2. I find that much more effective and somewhat safer because if you're going to practice a whole bunch of uh, release them out in the general direction. You don't want them so far that they can go right through one cap and hit a friendly on the other side. Um, too many times people really lose on momentum or even the game because somebody pinks out and uh, team kills. The other thing I was doing there, turning tight, was making sure that the corpse didn't get in the way of my fish in case he did just pop out right then. They have two caps, and so, yeah, we're ahead on boats, but uh, this game isn't really over yet. Well, the Des Moines didn't hurt. Uh, we're now significantly ahead. But Kavaros looks like he's gonna keep holding A. We can't get C. And they just lost their last, the well, next to last destroyer. This game is probably pretty well over, but not paying attention can lead to somebody getting solo warrior. Um, Rune is coming out. I'm watching very carefully what the Missouri's doing. I'd like to put fish out, but I sure don't want to hit him. And you'll notice he's come back around. So I'm going to smoke up. He doesn't have radar, but he has hydro. But I'm pretty much out of his hydro range, so it's safe. No, maybe not. You see the button that is probably his hydro. Um, although it could be, uh, no, it could be the point. He's too far away. So that's what it is, and there you have an example. Um, and uh, rune shells can hurt, especially at that range. Um, I mean, we have a real significant lead. They would have to. Now we've got like six minutes left in the game. So it's it's hopefully just clean up here, uh, unless we all do something real stupid. Um, the Hindenburg is going after A, and it looks like the Kabarok may be leaving. Their remaining Des Moines is coming here, so it's just a matter of uh, which way to go and maximize what I get out of this game. So I'm gonna put some fish down this slot. It doesn't look like I have to worry about friendlies. And I'm going to go ahead and cap C. If I'm lucky, the game won't be over before I do. So far, I've done 101,000 in damage. Uh, I've gotten those, uh, those two kills from that gaggle. Um, and uh, I tanked 112,000 of potential damage. So uh, I got more shot at me than I uh, delivered. There's the Des Moines. I mean, yes, I'm in radar range now, but uh, we're going to cut over to the fish. And are we going to get another kill out of this? Those are looking pretty good. And again, that was just a let's see where he's probably going to be. And boom, yes, we did. Enemy and it's now sunk. down to uh, can I cap this thing before the game is over? The results are going to be coming up after. Um, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Uh, we're going to be putting up some more... Uh, on the whole issue of radar and other topics uh, of interest for tactics and strategy. Uh, and the game plays by themselves are both uh, interesting to you and fun to watch. I hope you found it so. 
and um, also feel free to leave comments. It won't be long now. We got seven or eight seconds left to the uh, cap. Battle ends in five minutes. Overall, a good game. Engine Eleven torpedo hits. Yes, you can survive and thrive as a destroyer in the age of radar. Is, in sight. is it more is it more difficult? Yes. Do you have to change your skills? Yes. Um, but um, better skills lead to better results. There's always the element of luck. I had a number of games uh, on this same day that were equally good, and I've had some games that were just disastrous. Um, there is always the uh, RNG of the rain of the uh, matchmaker to deal with. Um, Seattle seems to like drilling holes in the rock. Game's over. Thanks for watching. So here are the results from this very interesting battle, and it did show how placement position, watching radar, all the other stuff has become critical in uh, destroyer play. It also shows why people shouldn't gang up in tight neighborhoods when there are destroyers around. I did 123,000 damage, um, 27 gun hits. Really, I don't play this normally as a gunboat. 11 torpedo hits, and that was a, <laughs> obviously a good portion of my damage. One incapacitation, three kills, 10 floods. Uh, one assisted capture, one spotting. And that probably would have been higher, but these days destroyers don't rush in quite as hard, so big ships may sometimes get spotted by other ships. And we had a devastating strike, that rewarding double strike and first blood. Uh, I'm working on some things, so this helped with that, getting uh, achievements in a U.S. boat. Um, and working on the special stuff for the personal combat missions for the gearing stuff um, and a bunch of daily challenges there's lots of stuff going on in july and i hadn't completed the indianapolis marathon uh, one of their missions and this did it let's go see exactly how that that shook out what was my score i came in first with just over two thousand uh, ship xp and um that was about uh, 250 or 200 and a quarter above the uh, the next ship, which was another destroyer who did not survive the battle. And um, detail report: um, potential damage was 112,000, so a little less than what I um, dealt out. There were six fires on my spotting. A total damage is 17,000 on that. I got 36 of 241 capture points. One good thing is we did focus and get caps, and uh, that was a good part of the win, too, in spite of almost killing all the boats. Um, only did 7,100 in, uh, in flooding damage and no real significant fire damage. Uh, I hit with almost a third of my torpedoes. Um, the All Sands took uh, five of them. That was probably the devastating strike. I was too busy to tell. The Des Moines, who I'd been stalking since the very beginning of the battle, took two and went down. The Bismarck uh, took two and was also destroyed. The uh, other Des Moines, um, two torpedoes and um, 6,100 in floods. Uh, that was almost all my flooding damage. He did not die, unfortunately, to me because uh, it was close. Um, the room was just a few batteries. If he'd come out earlier and the Missouri hadn't been right there, I possibly could have killed him with torpedoes as well. And the little knife fight with the gearing that uh, somebody else closed out. The full take home on this battle, after accounting for the benefits of Type 20 camouflage and the cost of premium consumables, I netted uh, just over 311,000 311, in. Uh, ship XP, and um, there was a special service thing because of issues with the server, I believe, earlier combined with the daily win, and the Type 20 camo gave me uh, 12,199 uh, of ship XP, which directly went into command XP because I have a 19-point skipper. I also had a Papa Papa flag 
and uh, that boosted my uh, free XP to 2440. I hope you enjoy this game. I sure enjoyed playing it. It had its moments that were more fun and more exciting than sometimes I was ready for. At least there they were. It was, and uh, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope we'll see you out there and have fun.